Hey what's up guys I am here and today we have two of the best Apple Watch replicas the Hello Watch 3 and the GS Ultra 9 Max and in this video we're going to be comparing both of them last week I uploaded a quick comparison between both of the smart watches and a lot of you requested a full comparison on both of the smart watches so finally in this video we're going to be comparing all of the features in both of the smart watches and we will decide which one is the best for you but before we start the comparison a subscribe to the channel will be highly appreciated so let's get right into it and compare the Hello Watch 3 and the GS Ultra 9 Max. So first of all, both of the smart watches come in 49mm size. Both of the smart watches are compatible with the Apple Watch Ultra case. Both of the smart watches have additional holes on the body, but in my opinion, the additional holes look better on the GS Ultra 9 Max. After that, the speaker holes also look better on the GS Ultra 9 Max. And if you talk about the body, then the case color also looks better on the GS Ultra 9 Max. In my opinion, the Hello Watch 3 has a little shiny color, while the GS Ultra 9 has a very matte color just like the original Apple Watch Ultra. Then the crown key also looks better on the GS Ultra 9 Max. On Hello Watch 3, it is flat from this side, while on the GS Ultra 9 Max, it has a rounded texture on the top. Both of the smart watches have strap locks at the back. Both of the smart watches have the GPS antenna design on the body, while the GPS antenna is more visible on the body of Hello Watch 3. Hello Watch 3 is using the A16 chip, while the GS Ultra is using the CCA SF32 LB551 chip inside it. Looking at the performance, the animations and the response rate. The CCA chip seems to be a better chip. Both of the smart watches come with AMOLED display. If you look at the display colors, then the GS Ultra seems to have a better display. If you talk about the resolution, then GS Ultra also seems to have a better display. And if you talk about animations, then again, GS Ultra seems to have a better display. In the control center, both of them have the torch option. If you compare the bezel size, then the GS Ultra seems to have thicker bezels as compared to Hello Watch 3, which results in a bigger display in the Hello Watch 3. The action key can be customized on both of them, while on the GS Ultra you can also customize the double click function on the side key. Both of them do not have a dedicated lock screen button. Both of the smart watches have insensible knob key and you won't hear a clicky sound whenever you use it. Both of the smart watches have taptic feedback whenever you use the crown key. In the GS Ultra 9 Max, you can turn off the crown tactile feedback, while on the Hello Watch 3 you cannot do that. If you talk about the watch faces, then GS Ultra has a better built-in watch face collection. Hello Watch 3 is using very low quality watch faces as you can see here while in the GS Ultra 9 Max it has very high quality watch faces I love this watch face what do you think about this watch face let me know in the comment section below Hello Watch 3 does not have this black compass watch face on Hello Watch 3 you can lock the watch face so even if you use the crown key it won't change the watch face on GS Ultra the watch faces are locked and using the crown key won't change the watch face but if you use the crown key in the upwards direction it will take you to the quick access applications page both smart watches support interactive watch faces and both of them also support themed watch faces. Both of them have sweeping seconds hand on the built-in watch faces. Hello Watch 3 also supports 12-hour clock format while the GS Ultra 9 Max only supports 24-hour clock format. If you talk about the UI similarity, on the home screen, the Hello Watch 3 has a better UI similarity. It has a similar control center while GS Ultra gets this new control center which is not similar to watchOS. The notification center is also similar on both of them but looks better on the the GS Ultra. Further in the video, we will also talk in detail about the notifications. Both of them have watchOS icons in the menu, but the saturation level and style looks better on the GS Ultra and looks more closer to original. Both of them have watchOS animations when opening and quitting an application, but the smoother animations on the GS Ultra looks better. But the list view on Hello Watch 3 looks similar to watchOS. WatchOS has black background for the list view, which is not the case in GS Ultra 9 Max. The app history also looks better on the GS Ultra. GS Ultra shows more detail as compared to the Hello Watch 3. GS Ultra does not have local storage, while Hello Watch 3 has 4 gigabytes of local storage. To take advantage of the storage in the Hello Watch 3, you can add songs and you can also add photos in it, and in the end, you can also add ebooks. To take more advantage of the storage on the Hello Watch 3, you can also record sound up to 8 hours, and as Hello Watch 3 can store music inside it, so to take more advantage of that feature also, you can also connect it with wireless earphones, using which you can use the the Hello Watch 3 as an MP3 player. So a step in the future. The GS Ultra 9 Max also comes with chat GPT option and you can use the chat GPT directly on the smartphone. Obviously it will require the assistance of your smartphone as it doesn't have Wi-Fi connection. If you haven't watched my video yet, I have already uploaded a full video on how to use the chat GPT option on the Wearfit Pro smartwatches. You can find the link of it in the description box below. Hello Watch 3 also has a full calendar application. Both of them also have the compass option inside it and both of them 
system also supports two modes of compass. Currently, both of them are not calibrated, but GS Ultra does support calibration after every restart. Both smartwatches can be used as an NFC tag, only Wayfair Pro has the NFC customization option. Now let's talk about the notifications. When you receive a new notification, the Hello Watch 3 wakes up the display and shows the banner notification, while the GS Ultra 9 Max does not wake up the display. Both of them show a banner notification when you receive a new notification. The notification banner doesn't go away automatically on the Hello Watch 3 and you will have to manually swipe it, while on the GS Ultra 9 Max it goes away after 1 to 2 seconds. The banner notification animation looks better on the GS Ultra 9. GS Ultra 9 Max shows more content as compared to the Hello Watch 3. Both of them do not support emojis. Both of them have red dot alert for unread notifications. Hello Watch 3 does not have stag notifications, while the GS Ultra 9 has stag notifications and the notifications from a single application are stacked. Here is the stack for Viber which shows all of the notifications from Viber. But one thing that I really don't like about it is that once you have read a notification, it will delete it from the history since it does not have enough memory. In the application, both of them have the other option for the notifications which means means they can send you the notification for almost all of the applications on your smartphone even if that application isn't listed here. It does not mean it will support all of the applications in your smartphone but other option includes most of the applications. For example, I have this application to create Instagram stories from my YouTube thumbnails so GS Ultra 9 Max showed the notification for it while the Hello Watch 3 didn't. Hello Watch 3 uses the QI Fit application while the GS Ultra 9 uses the WearFit Pro application. The WearFit Pro application can contains ads and sometimes even full screen ads which can be really disturbing for the user. Hello Watch 3 is completely ad free. If you talk about the watch faces collection, Hello Watch 3 has all of the watch faces available for totally free, while GS Ultra 9 Max has both paid and free watch faces and you will either have to activate the membership to get all of the dials for free or you will have to purchase each of the dial you like for 99 cents and most of the good watch faces in the GS Ultra 9 are paid. If we talk about the custom watch faces from the gallery, both smartwatches can only use digital clock on the custom watch faces. Hello Watch 3 only has one style of digital clock, while GS Ultra 9 has a variety of digital clock styles available here. On Hello Watch 3, you can choose any color you want for the digital clock, while on the GS Ultra 9, you can only use the specific colors for the clock, like yellow, orange, red, white. On Hello Watch 3, you can freely move the content on the custom watch face, and it moves in real time as you can see here, so you can see how it looks on the watch. While on the DS Ultra 9, you can only choose three positions for the digital clock, which are top, middle, and bottom. It is quite annoying, but sometimes GS Ultra 9 shows the name of the color, while well, sometimes it doesn't. Both of the smart watches can vibrate on the incoming call, while the DS Ultra 9 can also ring on the incoming call. And when we accept the call, you can adjust the volume level on both of them. You can also mute the call on both of them. While on the Hello Watch 3, you can also transfer the call to the smartphone and back to the smartwatch directly from here. While the DS Ultra 9 does not have this option. Both of them have pointer screen of dial. Hello Watch 3 also has the digital screen of dial. The screen of dial can stay on forever on both of them. Hello Watch 3 has the tap to wake option, but it only works for 5 seconds when the display goes off. And if more than 5 seconds have passed by, the tap to wake option will stop working. Both of them also have the palm gesture as well as race to wake option. For the normal screen of time, the GS Ultra 9 Max has the 30 seconds option but using the always bright option from the control center, the display can stay on for a maximum of 20 minutes. While if we talk about the Hello Watch 3, the normal screen time has the 60 seconds option but you can use the always on display option in it using which the display can stay on forever until the battery dies. Now let's check the wear detection in both of them. So Hello Watch 3 has given the error that please adjust the wearing posture which means that it does have wear detection as well as proximity sensor. While the DS Ultra has started to give values which means that it does not have wear detection. Both of them can also add alarms directly in the smartwatch. So here's how the alarm is shown, it vibrates on both of them but rings only on the Hello Watch 3. The vibration alert turns off in the GS Ultra after 15 seconds. In the Hello Watch 3, the vibration turns off after around 40 seconds. While I have always on display turned on and more than 1 minute has gone by, and it is still ringing. If you talk about the maximum brightness, both of them seem to have a very bright display and it will be clearly visible in the daylight and it is really hard for me to choose a winner between them. But on the minimum brightness, I think I don't even have to tell you about this. 
The Hello Voice 3 seems to have a dimmer display as compared to the GS Ultra 9 Max. In my opinion, the minimum brightness level on the GS Ultra 9 Max looks good, but it is too much dim on the Hello Watch 3. If we talk about the smoothness, then I don't even have to tell you about this. You guys already know. When it comes to the smoothness, there is no smartwatch which can reach the level of the WeFit Pro smartwatches. The GS Ultra 9 Max is so much smoother and better as compared to the Hello Watch 3. The menu opening animations, menu closing animations, then app opening as well as app quitting animations look so much better on the GS Ultra 9 Max. And talking about the smoothness, GS Ultra 9 Max surely takes the win. And the last thing to talk about is the battery. Hello Watch 3 is advertised to come with a 450 mAh of battery inside it, while the battery capacity of GS Ultra 9 is 320 mAh as advertised. If you compare the battery drainage, I've been working on this video for about 1 hour and 25 minutes now, and when I started recording the video, Hello Watch 3 was at 73%, while the GS Ultra 9 was at 87%. And after almost 80 to 85 minutes of usage, Hello Watch 3 has gone down to 65%, losing 8% of the battery while GS Ultra 9 has gone down to 75% losing around 12% of the battery. Even the drainage on GS Ultra 9 is not so bad as it equals around 1% every 7 minutes while it's 1% every 10 to 10 and a half minutes on the Hello Watch 3. So talking about the battery, Hello Watch 3 gets the crown for the best battery. So guys, this was all from today's video and these were all of the comparisons I could think of. If I missed out anything, you can ask about it in the comment section below. So if I give my final decision on both of the smartwatches, then it is easy. If you want to get the best features, then Hello Watch 3 is the best option for you. It comes with 4 gigs of memory inside it, you can store music, you can store photos and also ebooks inside it. You can also record sound up to 8 hours on it. And you can also connect wireless earbuds on it and use it as an MP3 player. The body also looks quite solid and the watch application is also quite good. But on the other hand, if you're looking for the beauty, then GS Ultra 9 is surely a better option. It comes with a brilliant UI and the C-Share chip adds great smoothness in the smartwatch. It looks so damn smooth and it is really hard to differentiate it with the Apple Watch Ultra. The UI is so similar and the animations are also so smooth. So for the features, go for the Hello Voice 3 and for the beauty go for the GS Ultra 9. You can find the full review and purchase links given in the description box below and if you decide to purchase one of them I would really appreciate if you can use the link given in the description box. You can also check out my Apple Watch replicas comparisons playlist which is linked in the description box below and you can also visit the channel to find many more amazing smartwatches like this. Make sure to hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this. I'll catch you in the next one. Until next time this is iMath. Peace.